Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a crucial topic that affects many, especially those with weakened immune systems, pneumocystis pneumonia, commonly known as PCP. Before getting into the topic, kindly subscribe our channel to get more updates and knowledge. Let's dive into the topic. What is pneumocystis pneumonia? PCP, which is pneumocystis pneumonia, is defined as a rare, serious lung infection caused by the fungus named pneumocystis gyrovetii in one or both lungs. So we came to know it's a respiratory infection. We all have the question, now, does it spread? Yes, definitely PCP spreads from person to person through the air. Some healthy adults can carry the pneumocystis fungus in their lungs without having symptoms. They can spread it to other people including those with weakened immune systems. Let's talk about the risk factors of pneumocystis pneumonia. Most people who get PCP have weakened immune systems. Some diseases and conditions that increase risk of PCP includes HIV AIDS. About 30% to 40% of people who get PCP have HIV AIDS. Chronic lung diseases, cancer, inflammatory diseases, or autoimmune diseases. For example, lupus or rheumatoid arthritis, solid organ or stem cell transplant. The other people who get PCP are usually those who are taking medicine, such as corticosteroids, that lowers the body's ability to fight germs or sickness. We know the risk factors. Let's see about the signs and symptoms of pneumocystis pneumonia. The patients affected with PCP can develop symptoms over several days or weeks, which includes fever cough, difficulty breathing, chest pain, chills, fatigue, tiredness, night sweats, weight loss. These symptoms lasting for days or weeks. But how to diagnose this? We have several tests to diagnose this. Let's dive into this. PCP can be diagnosed with chest x-ray, blood test, blood gas and sputum culture. In chest x-ray, bilateral, diffuse, often perihyla, fine, Reticular interstitial opacification, which may appear somewhat granular, will be found. In blood test, they do serum LDH level, because LDH levels are elevated in 90% of patients with pneumocystis pneumonia who are infected with HIV. LDH levels should decline with successful treatment. In blood gas, there will be reduced PO2 level. Sputum culture is often used to test for the P, CP fungus, in your lungs. DNA PCR test. Detection of pneumocystis gyrovici DNA by PCR. Indicative of active infection or colonization. Latter more likely when level is low. Indicated in immunocompromised patients who are colonized are at risk of developing PCP pneumonia. The other diagnostic investigation that can be considered are high resolution computed tomography, HRCT, chest, pulmonary function testing, bronchoscopy, and bronchoalveolar lavage, BAL, and biopsy. It's time to see the treatment options for pneumocystis pneumonia. The medicine most commonly used to prevent PCP is called trimethoprim slash sulfamethoxazole, a medication also known as cotrimoxazole. Cotrimoxazole in high dosage is the drug of choice for the treatment of mild to moderate pneumocystis pneumonia. Atavaquone is licensed for the treatment of mild to moderate pneumocystis infection in patients who cannot tolerate co-trimoxazole. A combination of dapsone with trimethoprim is given by mouth for the treatment of mild to moderate disease. A combination of clindamycin and primaquine by mouth is used in the treatment of mild to moderate disease. These are the treatment options to treat the PCP. To the end of this video is prevention. Always important to know how to prevent. For PCP, there is no vaccine to prevent, but we have treatment options to treat the symptoms. Smokers are also at a greater risk of getting PCP. If you smoke, quitting will make your lungs healthier. Complications mainly respiratory failure if not treated in time and properly. So, if you have any symptoms, contact the healthcare services physician as soon as possible. It's time to take care of our lungs, 
Thanks for watching. See you in next video with the new topics. Kindly subscribe and leave a comment. If you want any topics, drop it in the comment box. Thank you.